That's right, Chris. Indispensable indeed. We're at the McClellan Park Airport where some of Cal Fire's aircrafts are kept. Now, this is a one of a kind plane with a 211 foot wingspan. The pilot tells me all it takes is a text message to get this bird off the ground. You're looking at the biggest firefighting aircraft in the world. The Boeing 747 named the Super Tanker used to help fight some of the largest fires, including the LNU and SCU Lightning Complex fires. It has a max capacity of 19,200 gallons. Chief pilot Cliff Hale says he started flying planes when he was just 15 years old. With over 40 years experience under his belt, he helped retrofit this aircraft once used as a passenger plane. He says the belly of the plane holds those 19,000 gallons of water or retardant, and it can dump it all out at the touch of a button. You could fill a swimming pool in about eight seconds with this thing. <laughs> right now, the three-man crew super tanker is being deployed four to five times a day to help fight the California wildfires. It takes us 28 minutes to load. We got a quick tour of the massive giant knowing that at any second it could be deployed and we would have to scramble out of the plane. The aircraft can fly anywhere in the world in less than 20 hours and it has made a few rounds. We fought fires in Israel, uh, Chile, uh, we spent most of the last summer in Bolivia. On the wall near the cockpit, they proudly displayed the honor badges. But if you think any pilot can fly this beast, think again. Only four pilots have been certified. The men and women that are on the ground fighting that, you know, those flames. That's what we're here for. We're here to help them. Now, flying any type of aircraft does not come without a risk. A week ago, a pilot was killed while on a water dropping mission on the Hills Fire near Fresno. Pilot Hell says he relies on his training to keep his crew and firefighters on the ground safe.